Welcome back to Man vs. Meeple, the show where we talk about all things board game related. We are here today to talk about a game called Robots Love Ice Cream. Jeremy, did you know that Robots Love Ice no, Cream? No, but I know that Boris Borington wants to have spins and steal all the ice cream from the universe. So. <laughs> this is the cutest <laughs> game, and it's also it's based on an app, in case you're not familiar. Sure. There's an app out there, and this is basically a tabletop iteration or version sure. of that. Sure. So players in this uh, are going to be battling ice cream stealing robots right with their weaponized ice cream trucks yeah in a very sort of it has a very space invaders sort of vibe too the way the aliens are coming down and the way you have to take them out right so uh each of the possible four players will be taking an ice cream truck and on this ice cream truck truck it has all the player phases and also has room for two upgrades yeah like any ice cream truck right uh (laughs) which you'll be able to get over the course of the game and then some game effects yeah um these are purchasable cards you're going to be defending against waves of, of robots over five different planets. Right. And the whole object of the game is that there's going to be 13 ice cream cones that they could possibly steal from you. In order to win, it is a co-op driven kind of game. But it is you still interesting. get victory points at the end for one winner. Uh, you have to have at least 10 ice cream that you've saved. Exactly. If, there's, if they take more than three of them game over for everybody right in each world there's a set number of ice cream that they're trying to take sure. it's based on how many of the sort of boss type characters there are at the which, top. which is spinston there's a green spinston version and then there's a red which is spinston a little harder 2. to kill 0. yeah so each of these robots has a number of sprinkle tonium that's kind of the currency in right. the game that when you defeat them you get cards which are just sprinkle tonium which will be used to buy upgrades but they also have hit points on them uh the hit points are right here in this uh, ice cream cone looking thing right um and that's the number of hit points that you have to defeat them and it's all or nothing all so you have to yeah. kill them all in one shot there's no markers or anything like that that is an all or nothing sort of affair and in order to do that you're going to be using your hand of cards which different kinds of ice creams on them to defeat them yeah and you're kind of building i mean in a way i wouldn't say set collection but you're you're building sets of ro- cards sets yeah. of cards in your yeah. hands to use them to take out these things and you know there's very few robots that are one hit point. Right. So you're really trying to go after twos, a lot of threes. Yeah. And the spinstons are often four Fours and fives. And fives. Right. So the different kinds of ice cream, I mean, there's rabid pops, there's single serves, there's boom sickles, right? So in order to kill a specific robot, you're going to have to have a set of these. So if I have three of these boom sickles, I can just discard them to kill one of the robots that has three. Right. You can kill as many things as you wish on your turn. So let's actually go through the game and how yeah. it's set up. So the very first thing is that you're going to grab um, one of these planet things, depending upon how many players are playing. Right. Each of these planets has a number on them, which denotes uh, where it comes out in the game. So you're exactly. Be this going, would be a mid-level plan, or right. you know, a mid-game planet. So you start with number one, and you turn it over, and it tells you how many of the spinstons and possibly Spinston uh, 2.0. 2.0s you're going to be having. And then you're going to draw randomly robots uh, and place them underneath of him into uh, single-file lines. Um, so once the planet phase is set up, you're going to go into the player phase. Now the, there's three rounds per planet and it's denoted by this kind of tractor beam in which the the ice cream is slowly being pulled up into the spaceship, right? Yeah. So the, the goal is to make sure and get that ice cream, which is held by each of the spinstons before it gets sucked up completely. Right. So, uh, the player phase, uh, you're going to start with seven cards in your hand and you're simply going to draw two cards from the top of the deck Pick one of them to keep, one of them to discard. So you've got eight cards to use, and you're going to be discarding those cards in order to kill these robots. Right. Once you're done, you have the option of any of the sprinkleton that you collected from killing them. You can discard one of them to draw back up to seven cards, which you're probably going to want to do because going into a, a round without any cards is going to be yeah. Most frequently, it would, for the most part. rarely there's going to be a, a hand where you really just don't have much built. Right. So you might discard a card or two to get rid of a couple low level robots. Sure. In which case you might want to hold on because if you're just drawing one or two cards with a sprinkle tonium, it's maybe not the most bang for your buck. So everybody at the table will get to play one hand of cards. Once they're done, the robots will have a phase. The robots kind of kick off in a very specific order. The bottom left one will take place and then the one next to it, and you'll keep going through and all their abilities will take place. Yeah, and it's kind of cool because the abilities almost serve as a little bit of, almost like AI in other sure, games. Sure, Because they do different things. You know, some of them are going to move the ice cream up Yep. Some of them have effects on the players. Some of them bring out 
more robots that you right. have to take out. Right. So the, the real the, the game kind of boils down to really just trying to get as rid of as many of those guys as possible on your right. round because and Jeremy said earlier you're kind of working together, but sure. at the same time you just want to work together but better than each other. If so, that makes sense. So once you get up to the Spinstons, their special abilities they're always going to move up an ice cream. So if you haven't defeated one of them, uh, for each one of them they're going to move up the ice cream to the next level. Right. Um, and then. Once you're done with one of those rounds, you'll play again. Each of the players will have a turn. The robots that are left will have a turn. And after three rounds of that, any ice cream that wasn't... Anytime you kill a Spinston, you're going to collect one of these because they're points at the end of the game. But for anyone that escape, they're going to go into the Spinston kind of... uh, off to the side and if they have more than three of those at the any point in the game it's game over for yeah, everybody. Yeah, game over for everybody. So the round's going to end either when that happens when yeah. they escape with ice cream or you've destroyed them all, which could happen as early as the first of the three sure. rounds or the second. Sure. Um and then you're going to go into the upgrade phase. You're going to draw three upgrade cards from the top of the deck and starting with the player has the least amount of sprinkletonium, um they get to buy a single card. They can also, if they so wish, get rid of a Sprinkletonium to refresh right. the deck with three new cards. And you're going to keep buying around um, a, a new card every time around the board until all the players pass and don't want to buy anything else. Now, there is a limit. You have two weapon upgrades. Um, you can have as many effects as you wish. Most of the effects are the green cards, and they do either one-time effect or once per round or once right. per game. And the... Upgrade slots do a lot of cool things. They may add an additional card to your hand. Yeah, they'll make some of the ice cream a little more powerful. Sure. So your boom sickles, you only need maybe two instead of three to take out a three. Right. Um, robot. Yeah, what's really interesting here is the, the range of how much these things cost. I mean, mm-hmm. some of them cost one sprinkletonium, right. maybe two. Yeah. Those are going to be weaker cards, but there are some, I think we've seen that, you know, seven. five, seven. Yeah. Yeah, so those can be pretty powerful. All right. So you're going to keep doing this. Once you get done with the upgrade phase, a new planet will come in, and you'll have three more rounds, and you'll keep doing that all the way through five different planets until the very end. At the end, you're going to score points for the ice cream that you have killed personally on the Spinstons. Right. These are worth two victory points each. And for every one of the Sprinkletoniums that you have at the end is worth a victory point. Right. So some of those decisions throughout the game as to whether or not you spend your Sprinkletonium on upgrade, mm-hmm. you just got to remember you're giving up victory points when you're right. doing that. So there's some decisions to be made for sure. Yeah. So guys, that is uh, Robots of Ice Cream. This is one of the most colorful. I I, I, had, I was not familiar with the app, but it is sure. a very colorful and great sort of like, like I said, Space Invader-y sort of vibe on your table. It's, it's very quick to play, too. Plus takes, ice cream. Yeah, it's plus ice cream. <laughs> and the guy even gave us some freeze-dried oh, ice yeah. cream, which we had no idea. It was really good stuff, right? It tastes, it, I mean, it didn't feel like ice cream in your mouth, but the flavor was exactly like ice cream, freeze-dried. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. It's hilarious. So, guys, go check it out. Robots Love Ice Cream, the card game by 25th Century Games. Uh, we are Man vs. Meeple. Make comments below, please, on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to us always. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.